This video is super important if you've ever wanted to resell Claude code in any capacity. Now, I want to talk about something really, really important today, which is consumer terms of service versus commercial terms of service. Now, somebody once told me that you cannot resell Claude code, as in if you, for example, made something that uh, automatically spins up Claude code and then uses Claude code to create something, right? And then let's say this creates like a Docker instance, which, you know, like bolt.new, for example, but using Claude code, that you could not make this. But that's actually incorrect. And I wanted to talk about why today and why, in my opinion, this is such an important thing. And also, you know, the potential for billion dollar ideas that might come from this. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers talk about, you know, big ideas, et cetera, et cetera. But I really tr truly believe that I have a really good idea um, and I am going to make it and it does involve using Claude code. And I wanted to talk about that today. Now, the first thing that you need to know is consumer terms of service, right? Please note our commercial terms of service govern your use of any Anthropic API key, the Anthropic console or any Anthropic offerings that reference the commercial terms of service. For clarity, that does not include Claude.ai or Claude Pro use for individuals or entities. What does that mean? It means that the consumer terms of service are specific, and it says effective from 28th of uh, September 2025. They are specific to basically the Claude Max plan or the Claude Pro plan. So if you instead, right, instead of using an API key for this system, you use, by the way, guys, I'm on a, I'm on a touchpad. So actually, that's better than my normal attempt. If you do this on the max plan this is not allowed right this is actually banned you cannot do this but basically what this is what what i'm trying to say in this video is that if you instead use your api key it's totally fine right and i'll show you why in this video looking at the terms of service so just to clarify the consumer terms of service are as it says here for clarity this does not include so the commercial terms of service, which is not this one. This is the consumer terms of service, right? So the commercial terms of service are for API keys, but these ones here are actually just for the max plan, right? So you cannot resell the max plan as part of your service, right? So just a little tip for you guys. If you're looking for kind of um whether you can resell something right you always want to do control f and you want to look for commercial and you want to look for something that says something like this right use of our services for evaluation purposes of your personal non-commercial use only non-commercial use only you agree that you will not use our services for any commercial or business purposes and we and our providers have no liability to you for any loss of profit loss of business business interruption or loss of business opportunity. What does that mean? Okay, well, first of all, it's them covering their asses. So like, if you try and sue Anthropic because, you know, your max plan went crazy and deleted your production database, you simply will, you, you, you won't, that won't hold up in court. By the way, hashtag not legal advice, hashtag not financial advice, all that stuff that you have to say on YouTube. I'm not a lawyer. Okay, I'm just reading. I do have some experience with commercial non commercial use because of my print on demand days and basically what this is saying is that the max plan is non-commercial use only which means you cannot resell claude code as part of a service using the max plan right so that's the max plan but what about right if we go here please note our commercial terms of service govern your use of any anthropic api key so what does it say here let's do control f let's look for commercial uh, let's just press enter a few times. Okay, so it's not actually here. Okay, so this is the really important part here. Again, not legal advice, all that good stuff. And just before we continue, by the way, this is something that I am going to be putting into SEO Grove. SEO Grove, by the way, check it out. It's three or four days left until we put the price up and you can no longer get the uh, $1 wait list, $99 a month plan um or offer introductory offer instead it'll be going up to probably half price which is 250 or just full price which is 499 so there's about three or four days left on this so join the waitlist seogrove.ai um check it out etc etc but with that being said i am planning on putting claude code into grove and i probably will stream that process as well but let's just go through this here this is the most important sentence right here again not legal advice i feel like i have to keep saying that 
Overview, subject to these terms, Anthropic gives customer permission to use the service, including to power products and services customers make available to its own customers and end users. What does that mean? That means the thing, the example that we talked about earlier, where let's say you created a website generator that uses Claude code to actually create the website and then put it on Docker, like a bolt.new process, Daytona, whatever. That is actually completely fine. Now, as far as I know, this was not the case originally. So I am curious to see if I go here, so it just keeps coming to use the service and to power. Okay, so it's always been it's always been the case. It looks like it's gone previous version one more time. Subject to these terms, customers you may use the services and we need to make submissions to the services promise to generate. Okay, so I think originally when it was released, this wasn't the case. Okay, so this is something that changed, it looks like on February the 24th, um, 2025, and then changed again June 2025. Um, and oh, I didn't actually know that Anthropic was in Ireland. That's pretty cool. So what does this mean? It means that you are not legal advice, but you are legally allowed to sell Claude code using an Anthropic API key as part of your process. Okay. Now, why am I even talking about this? I'm talking about this because there's myth misinformation about there because people might read, for example, the commercial terms of service, and they might read something like, you know, not for commercial use. And then they leave comments on my YouTube channel or my streams or whatever saying you're not allowed to resell Claude code as part of a product that is inaccurate. Okay. According to my understanding as a layman who has no experience in lawyerism or lawyers or law or anything. Okay. But this one sentence here, this generally means that you can use Claude code inside your product and sell it. If you're using an API key, not if you're using the max plan. Right. The key here is you are not allowed to use the max plan for this, which means you have to think about limits. You have to think about cost. You have to think about all these different things. But the cool thing or the amazing thing about this is that you can build something with Claude code. You can build a wrapper around Claude code and resell it. Right. So, for example, let's say you made a Manus ripoff powered by by Claude code. Now I'm assuming Manus doesn't use Claude code. It might, it might not. I don't actually know. Or let's say you make a bolt.new competitor powered by CC, right? Claude code. This is perfectly fine. As long as you use the API key issues will arise. If you use the max plan instead of the API key, right? Again, this might seem like a bit of a strange video, but I just want to kind of counter the misinformation because there might be people out there who have a really, really solid idea for something and they really want to make this business, but they didn't think they could just due to the legalities of Claude code. But if you actually read their licenses, which I will leave in the description of this video, if I remember, but the main thing is the commercial terms of service, which govern the API, right? As it says on their commercial terms of service right here. Oh, sorry. Their consumer terms of service. I got confused there. I must have clicked at some point. As it says right here, please note our commercial terms of service, right? Which is the other one govern your use of any Anthropic API key, etc. For clarity, the commercial terms of service, which is the one that you're allowed to use commercially does not cover Claude pro for individuals or entities. This is the important thing, guys. I just wanted to go through this. I wanted to explain this to people. I didn't even know you needed to be 18 years old to use Anthropic. That's quite interesting. I just wanted to very quickly run over this because I think there's misinformation out there and I really want people to build and feel empowered to build and use AI to build things. And Claude Code is without a doubt the best, if not one of the best. I'm kind of flip-flopping between Codex and Claude, a, uh, Claude Code right now. That might seem like I'm just doing it for views. I'm not. I'm genuinely just trying to understand which one's better. The second I get home to Ireland, I'm going to be power testing Codex versus Claude Code. There's a lot of content coming on that very, very soon. But I just wanted to address this because I think it's important. And somebody actually stopped me building something inside SEO Grove originally because they told me that I wasn't allowed to, which is completely incorrect. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.